So let's take a look under the hood, if you will. I'm gonna pop the hopper off. You're simply twisting it left. When you twist the hopper left, there's a sensor underneath the hopper and it'll knock the grinder off. I'm gonna pop this out here. So now we have the hopper off. Uh, the only thing we're gonna need here is a brush, a flathead screwdriver, and perhaps a hoover if you've already ground some coffee. And we're gonna look at recalibrating or calibrating for the first time um, the grinder blades. If you've just bought an E80 Supreme or an E65S, most of these grinders come out and the setting is always on the finer side. And by that, I mean, you're always uh, left with very little room to play with should the blades wear down we're always close to zero um, i have a theory that the manufacturers send these grinders out like that so somebody has to um, calibrate the grinder you're not blocking it when it arrives you can't go too fine so i've taken the hopper off and um, you'll see here there's a small sensor when the tooth of the hopper engages this sensor the grinder will come on we'll get to that a little bit later and um, where it should sit on the old E65S model, there was a back screw here. And um, if you've watched the E65 video, we have calibrating the E65S. Um, it was a nightmare because the screw was very difficult to put back in once you took it out. And it kind of got in the way of holding the hopper on, taking it off. So I'm glad to see that it's gone. Much cleaner, much more intuitive um, to set this grinder. So as I said, all you need is a flat head. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these two screws out. Set them to one side. Even if you didn't um, read the instructions, there is a, a good instructions manual. But even if you didn't, it's kind of intuitive to know your, your way around the grinder. You've got some clips here that need to come out also. You can put these in the wrong way when you return to put them back. So I'm gonna pop them two clips out and then we have a lock and an unlock position. I'm gonna move the grinder to unlock then I'm gonna take the top plate off. So, that sensor that I was speaking about, which is here, I don't know if you can see that, this sensor here, that will need to find a home right here. So if you're changing the blades or you remove this top protective plate, you need to ensure that this hole is left exposed. You can put it back on without exposing the hole and then you won't be able to put the hopper back on or turn the grinder back on. So you need to make sure that this hole is aligned, so your sensor can engage it. Um, if you don't, you won't be able to put it back on. I'm just gonna remove the clump crusher, and I have checked, this clump crusher is the same size as the original E65S. If you need to take it out and clean it, you simply remove the hopper, like I, or the top, excuse me, and the hopper like I have here. Take it out, clean it, put it back in. So what we're worried about here in this video is how to, um, calibrate the grinder or reset it or its initial calibration so if you hold in black switch and twist um, anti-clockwise that will take the top off so now we can recalibrate or see where we're at so if you see here we have a white dot which is marked in paint and the dots get smaller, indicating that the grinder gets smaller. This is where it's set. And on the dial here, you might be able to see that, is a small white dot um, to correspond to where this is. So I'm simply going to give it to three half turns. What's that, what that has done is it's changed this white dot to make it um, a much finer setting. We won't take this top protective plate off. To remove the blades and clean them we'll do that in a separate video malconic recommend that you use um their new tool for taking the blades out so we have a little bit of coffee in there i've reset the grinder to make it finer i'm just going to put it back together first up we're going to pop the grind control on if you want to call it the grind control and then on goes the top sensor must find its home like so. Pop the two. Oh, the 
clump crusher. Clump crusher needs to go back in. Now kind of sign um, will go to the back of the grinder. You can see it here. Like this. Back um, in the lock position. We're gonna pop our clips back in. Bolt screws. So we have the top back on and we have our grinding lock open. One of the improvements I think they could make to this grinder is to add a lock on the display at the front to let you know if this is locked or unlocked. Or unlocked. And perhaps it's just me, but when you're out with a customer or you're making changes to the grinder, I'm always in the wrong position. I think it'd be really handy um, if there was a lock signal or sign here to let you know if you're in lock or unlock. I'm gonna pop the hopper back on. It's in place and we're back in business.